All right, so this is Flight Simulator 2 by Sublogic. This is probably the definitive flight simulator of the era. This particular version is for the Commodore 64. And I think this actual product grew up to be Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I know it lasted a long time. I don't know if Microsoft Flight Simulator is still uh, an active product or not, but this, uh, this whole series lasted a very long time. And the Flight Simulator 2 implies that there was even an earlier version of Flight Simulator. Um, there was, and it was for some other computer system. Um, there were other flight simulators available besides this one. One in particular uh, is IFR, Instrumentation Flight Rules. I've actually been trying to find that one, but I haven't had any luck. Anyways, let's flip over to the... Uh, the disc and you can see the copyrights 1980 and 1984 I'm assuming the copyright for 1980 is the original flight simulator and the 84 is for flight simulator and this is what appears to be a full retail package of all the original materials if I open it up and Look at all the goodies inside. Uh, what we got here is the original diskette. It's right protected. No label on the back. Nothing stupendous here. This looks like the product registration card with the serial number. So whoever owned this didn't register it. And there were a bunch of marketing material some more marketing material, which is pretty typical of any game. Product description. I don't know what this is, some kind of label. I don't know if that's original. This looks like a README, uh, an addendum for the manuals. And the manuals, you have two pretty heavy manuals here. Uh, flight physics and aircraft control and Pilot's Operating Handbook and Airplane Flight Manual. And these are pretty heavy manuals. So I don't think it's really fair to call this a game, even though it's entertainment, but we've got a lot of stuff here. And even more stuff here. We have uh, keyboard overlays, so you know what buttons to press. And these are maps. I'm not going to open these up because they're a little bit delicate. They're 30 years old, so the creases are probably permanent, but these are various maps of the area. <clears throat> Los Angeles flight simulator reference chart, and there's a whole bunch of other maps in here. So this is a pretty complex product. Another interesting thing about this whole product line is this, the Sublogic Scenery Disc, and this is scenery disc number one and considering the age of this 1984 at least um, this is a pretty early example of a game with uh, a whole expansion series or add-ons whatever you want to call it so if you think things like DLC downloadable content is new um, it's really not if you look at the back of it it'll tell you how many discs they have. They had at least 12 discs. Let's see, 12 and what region of the United States each disc represented. And I think I saw somewhere in the original manual that the each scenery disc was $20. So you got 12 scenery discs at $20 a pop. So this could be a pretty expensive hobby and considering the game itself probably cost forty or sixty dollars. I'm gonna load this on a Commodore 64 on a 1541 and there's the joystick but I'm actually gonna cheat <clears throat> when I was testing the game I noticed it had a demo mode so since I don't want to spend the next 12 years of my life learning how to operate this flight simulator I'm just gonna run it in demo mode. So first I will turn on the monitor.
turn on the floppy disk. And let me adjust the camera a little bit better. And then I'll turn on the Commodore 64. And load the game. It actually takes at least three minutes to load. There's no speed loader on the disc and I guess this is also before the age of publishers and developers including their own speed loaders. I'll let it sit for a little while and you'll see the screen flash in colors to tell you that it's actually doing something and it'll also give you an estimated time two minutes 40 seconds load time so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it gets to the main screen and actually the two minutes and 40 is a little misleading because that's when you get to the main screen and once you get to the main screen there's even more loading so I'll be back in about three minutes so about three minutes have passed and I'm at well I guess what you would call the main menu uh, it says Sublogic Flight Simulator 2 version 1.0. I don't know what that means. And there's two different options if you have a color TV or a color composite monitor or a black and white TV or monitor. Since this is a color display, actually as video, but for all intents and purposes, I will choose it as color. And you can run in demo mode or regular flight mode. I'm going to press demo mode. And then I'm going to pause again because there is still more loading. Alright, hopefully after that false start we're back at the main screen. Uh, this is the demo mode. I guess it's just going to be doing whatever it's doing if you're a dealer or something like that I guess you would just leave this running in the background to showcase the Commodore 64 and uh, the flight simulator I don't know if I can press any keys to do anything oh look I could look at the I guess that's the left wing uh, I guess that's the rear maybe the right wing doing I'm just pressing keys more of an action game person than a flight simulator but this is still interesting I don't know if it's doing anything let's uh, jiggle the joystick and see what it does anyways there's a lot of information here on the screen I guess if you're a pilot most of these things would tell you stuff uh, I know what that is, that's your artificial horizon, your altitude, probably your speed. And I guess these are your radio. So I'm not going to let this play too much longer because there's really not much to see beyond that. But this is Flight Simulator by Sublogic. Thank you for watching.